Now, once you understand how you can initialize your app with React Redux, let me show you how you can update this store value. Now, in Redux, you're not able to change this value by specifying a new value to it. Instead, you need to call a dispatch function to change the value of this state. So, let me show you how to do it. So, what you have to do is, you have to first grab this app. Inside that app, you have client and from that client, you have to grab this toggle form. So inside the project, let me just specify here state dot app dot client dot toggle form. Let me save this back to my project and now reload it. You can see I'm going to get false as a response. So the value of this initial state is false. You can notice. Now what I want, I want to change this value when I click on this update button. And after that, I want to open the add employee form. So to do that, let me get rid of this console.log and right down here inside this table, you can see when you scroll down inside this TR, here you have this update button. You can see here. You have to call on update handler function to this button. So when you click on that button, it's going to call that handler function and we can update the state of the store. To this button, we specify on click. So when we click on this button, I want to execute the handler function. The name of the handler function is on update. Now, as you know, we don't have this handler function. So let me just create that inside this function. I'm going to say constant on update is equal to, and then I'm going to pass here the function, something like this. And just out of that, when I click on the button, I want to get the console.log message click. Save this. And when I click on this button, you can see I'm going to get this message click. So this handler function is working completely fine. Inside this, what we have to do is we have to get the current state. When I scroll up, you can see to get the current state, we use here this statement. Let me grab that and specify that inside this TR function right here. Just out of that, inside this state, as you know, we have true or false value. Instead of state, I'm going to rename this to visible or flag. That's upon you. You can specify any value to this variable. Just out of that, you need a dispatch function to change the value of this variable. So at the top, you need to import here a hook called use dispatch. And using this hook, you can call the action. So right here, I'm going to say constant dispatch is equal to call the use dispatch hook, something like this. So we can execute the action using this dispatch variable. So let me copy this dispatch. Instead of this console.log, here I'm going to call dispatch. And inside this parenthesis, we pass the action. As you know, inside the reducer, here we exported this action. I'm going to get that inside this table. So right up here, here we need to say import in the object toggle change action from double dot forward slash, then specify the reducer folder. And inside that, we have the reducer file, this one. Inside this file, we have this toggle change action function. So let me just import that inside this table like this. Copy this toggle change action and pass that right down here to this dispatch function right here. You have to call this function inside this dispatch. So if you have false to this toggle form, when you call this toggle change, it's going to change that to true. And if you have true here, it's going to change that to false. Just out of that, let me save this file back to my project and reload it. When I click on this update button, you can see it will not going to do anything. This is because we are just going to update the value of the state. So let me just display that value. So right down here, I'm going to say console.log visible. I'm going to grab this value and specify that here. Reload the browser. And when I click on this update button, you can see now I can update this store value. Now what I'm going to do is I can use this update button to open this add employee. And instead of this add employee form, I can display the update form. So let me show you how to do it. 